rational doesn't mean the absence of all feelings and emotions and things like that. People often think, oh, if I become sort of stoic and rational, I'll lose me and I'll just be numb. That's not the case. I feel happiness. I feel sadness. I feel uh, joy. I can feel anger if I want to. All these things, you know, but you are able to balance those emotions. Not all the time. If someone smacked me in the face right now, I'd probably feel very angry and want to hit them. So I could then rationally view it and change my mind and think, well, look, they're being stupid. They've got their own beliefs. They're not educated uh, in the sense that realizing that uh, if they get into physical violence, they may hurt their brain. They've got one brain for the rest of their life. So it's probably not a wise choice. Therefore, I don't want to get into confrontation with a person who hasn't thought, thought that through. You know, I could be aware of that quite quickly and then realize there's no need to engage in that conflict that could put me at risk, right? Now, then the anger comes down when I look at that. Now, if I had no insight to that, smacked in the face, my beliefs are they must not hit me like a universal law where we sort of believe the universe is encased in a, in a belief system network, which is like almost like godlike and we must abide by. And that if you break that, you are uh, that you will be damned forever and it, it must be abided by. All humans are so irrational. They believe this stuff. You hit me in the face. You must not do that. That is the worst thing ever. That is should not happen. That's so unfair. That's so terrible. I must hit you back to uphold my pride. Another thing we think is like a universal law. And then it will all be balanced out, right? All irrational. So we've got to start from the beginning point of why are humans so irrational? Well, humans don't, most humans don't tend to think that deeply. They tend to follow the crowd and are scared of getting socially rejected, right? So because of that, it's easier to follow the crowd and avoid social rejection. So they'll follow things that sort of set out. Laws get set out, they abide by them very easily. They never think what those laws mean. They never think, uh, they never think, uh, they think very much in black and white of you're a good person if you do this, you're a bad person if you do that. Yet the laws today and the laws in the past are very different. And what people believed were good and bad are today very different to then. So that's those kind of black and white rigid constructs is what keeps us prisoners in our life. That means we abide by our laws because for our own life it's better for, for how we function in society. But it doesn't mean we have these beliefs that self-damn us, that down us, if we break some uh, belief like we're dishonest or we make a mistake or we get angry at someone we, we, or whatever. Whatever thing you feel which you believe you'll be damned forever or is just you could never accept yourself if you did. Humans are fallible, okay? 